Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to block top-level domains via Microsoft Intune. Because by default, Microsoft Defender cannot block top-level domains yet. I'm saying it intentionally because Microsoft has announced that it will be added to Microsoft Defender for Endpoint in the future, but at the moment it's not possible. So if you want to or need to block top-level domains, you need to use some other way. And one of the actually pretty straightforward and easy to configure yet very well functioning way is to use Microsoft Intune and Firewall rules to block top-level domains. Why is it important to block top-level domains? Maybe you have some countries that you don't have, don't do any business with and you see a lot of, for instance, attacks from those countries. You don't want your users to visit any page of uh, any of the countries, so you can block the country uh, level domain. Or you can block even uh, some of the top level domains that now companies can register. Because it's possible for companies to register even top level domains. So for example, Microsoft has its own dot Microsoft domain. Google also uh, has their own top level domains. Google also has recently registered some top level domains that I think are pretty dumb actually and shouldn't exist at all. For example, zip domain because zip is the file type of archives and I can imagine that such domain could be used in uh, some distribution of malware potentially. So it's, I think it's pretty good idea to block such dumb domains. And today I'm going to show you how to do that via Windows Firewall rules via Microsoft Intune. First, we need to go to Endpoint Security in the Microsoft Intune Admin Center and to Firewall. Then we move to reusable settings and we create a new reusable setting. We name the reusable setting however we want, so I will call it just block dumb domains. And here on the configuration settings page, that's the most important part of it, where we define the top level domains that we want to block. We already have one um, row predefined, so we can just use this, click edit settings. We need to make sure that we turn on auto resolve. So I'll do that. The top level domains need to be defined in the form of asterisk dot domain. So if I want to block, for instance, the zip domain, I can type asterisk dot zip. Click save and we have one domain defined. We can add another domain. So I'll click the add button, edit instance, auto resolve needs to be turned on. And I can block also, for instance, the foo domain. It's also an existing top level domain. All right, we have two domains defined. You can define uh, how many domains you want. It's up, completely up to you. We can go to the review page and click the add button. All right. We have one reusable setting configured. Let's go back to summary and create a new policy for Windows 10, Windows 11 and Windows Server Platform. And the profile type will be Windows Firewall Rules. Let's click Create. We need, the, need to name the policy so we can go ahead and do block dumb domains again. And here is the most important configuration of this policy, which defines the reusable setting that we want to actually use in this firewall policy. So we click add. We name the setting somehow. So I can again name it block dump domains. Action obviously will be block. Here we choose the reusable setting group which will be the one that we created a minute ago. And we also need to go to the additional settings and click the edit instance button. 
First, we need to enable it. So we change the enabled to enabled. Then we need to define the interface types. We want to block this on all interface types. So we select all. Then we need to define the network types. So that's the profile type on Windows Firewall. We want to block it for all firewall network types. So it will be this firewall profile type, profile type all. And then we scroll a little down and just make sure that the direction is the rule applies to unbound traffic. That's all. We can click save. Scope tags, we can define the scope of this policy. I don't need to do this right now. And the assignments. Here we define the assignment of this policy. So I would probably go with all devices. You can of course define multiple groups. Um, definitely you should start with some small group of test devices before you roll it over to all devices in your environment. Um, but that's up to you. So this is my lab environment, so I can go ahead and do all devices right away. Um, probably not a good idea to do the same also in production environments. So let's click next. On the review, we just click save. And that's all. Now, we have created a reusable setting that defines the top level domains we want to block. Next, we define a policy of type Windows Firewall Rules, where we define uh, or selected the reusable settings and define what we want to do with the reusable settings, which we define as that we want to block it on all network types, all firewall types for unbound traffic. And we assigned it to all devices. That's all from me today. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, please uh, click the heart button below the video. If you have any comments or questions, leave me a note and please share this with your colleagues, with your peers, with your friends who you find might find it useful. And don't forget to also follow my blog, follow my Twitter, follow my LinkedIn. And also I have podcasts that I release every weekend where I summarize everything that happened in the past week in the world of IT and cybersecurity. So don't forget to subscribe to that as well. Thanks again for watching and see you next time.